Hi, it's Russ from Protos Expert, and I want to give you a show and tell of the DDMF Meta plugin. And this allows users of various doors, uh, I'm using it in Pro Tools, to host stuff that you probably couldn't normally host. So for example, in Pro Tools, you can host VSTs and audio units, 64 and 32-bit plugins. And that will be the case for Logic users as well, who've got old 32-bit plugins they need to use in Logic Pro 10 or X, depending on your persuasion. So I've got it set up here. So I'm going to show you it first in action uh, on audio. Then I'm going to show you on synth. So it can host both audio and it can plugins and also VS uh, virtual instruments. And so I've got one already set up. Then I'm going to show you setting one up and how easy it is. It's pretty straightforward. So this is the plugin. You plug it in as a standard insert. And on this one at the moment, I've got a drum kit and. They ship it with two really cool things. They ship it with a crossover and also an uh, MS option as well. So what you can do, you can either get your audio input straight into your plugin, or you could go via the crossover. So what I've got here, I've got a crossover there, and then I've got a pull. Then I've got the two two bottom ends of the crossover going to a pull tech, doing the pull tech bottom end trick, and then I've got the two top ends of the crossover going to the mag EQ, and then out to the output. So now when I play it. I've got a really cool plugin because I've got Pultic bottom end, mag, EQ top end. As I say, turn that off. And then I can just do what I need to do with it. Of course, I could have four things in it. I could have something else there. So in, in terms of mastering, that's really useful. So let me show you how it all works. It's pretty straightforward. So. I've got, as I say, you've got a MIDI input and an output, and you just grab things, and you then start pushing them to where they need to go to, basically dragging and dropping, sort of wiring them like a patch bay. Now, a few things are really cool built into it. You've got to, you can have, uh, it sets ADC for you, so plug-in delay compensation. Uh, it has two times oversampling, if you want to use that to get even better quality sound. And also, all the parameters, if you open the parameters normally in a plug-in, there they all are. Uh, and they would normally say if it was the mag EQ, the, the mag top end, or the mag bottom end. So what you do here instead, you can assign your parameters here. So go parameter 1, I can say yeah, the, the mag EQ, and I want to use it for the air gain. And then parameter 2, I'm going to choose that, and I'm going to go for the, the pull tech, and I want to use that for the low frequency boost. So when I go here now, these two parameters will affect, will, will now can now be assigned, parameter 2 there, can now be assigned to automation lanes. So when I use the automation now, parameter 1 and parameter 2 are assigned to those things that I've set them in here. Of course, that list can be as long as you want it to be. So all automation is, is dealt with as well. So let me show you how you set it up. Let me come to a new one. I've got an instruments track here. I've got a Metaplug synth. And at the moment, there's nothing coming through it. So there's two ways you could do it. You can either drag and drop from your folders. So if I go into my library here on my Mac, and this could be on a PC as well. I go to plugins. I could come to my VSTs here uh, in Bosca 2. I could pick that up and drag it in. And there it is. And then all I need to do is grab that. And away we go. Now, I then need to create an output. Let's pop that down there. And now when I play this, I should have. My Imposca 2. Now what I could then do, of course, is stack a synth situation. So what it does as well is it remembers stuff you've done already. And as you can see, the stuff I've done earlier on, they're all in here. So I could get the Profit 2. I've got a demo of this down, so I'm going to load that in. Profit to quickly open that so I can get the demo unlocked. There we go. Finish. And I'm going to go here to high strings and just close that for a second. And from the MIDI input, I'm going to pick that up and go into there. And then from the outputs again, go to root those. So now I have both of those stacked together. What I could do then, of course, as well, is I could go in and I could 
decide I want to put some uh, delay on that so I could come down and find the echo boy so I'll go to the components there's the echo boy let's just drag that one in so I could pick that up and I could quickly break the connection here put that back in into the echo boy out of the echo boy Out of the media input, into there. So we've now got. And I could go into my Echo Boy, and we could. Kind of really nice. That's a nice one. And then I could go in here as well on my door and I could go save settings as big echo pad. Now that's now a setting I've got. So if we then delete that again for a second, no insert, and we come here and we go DSP, sorry, native synth. And there we go. Give it a second. There's our big echo pad. So there we are. It's just another great example of hosting stuff you normally wouldn't be able to do in your door. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.